We're so excited to welcome to the show New York Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. Great to see you, Congresswoman. What is the right thing to do? It's good to have you on. What's the right thing to do with Governor Cuomo and his scandals? Well, the governor should do the right thing and resign. I mean, this is somebody who not only mishandled the nursing homes, of course, we know now it resulted in 15,000 deaths, but he actually stonewalled the state legislature when they tried to obtain information. He underreported the information to the public. Uh, you know, and, and of course, you know that his uh, chief of staff admitted to a cover up because he was trying to avoid that information getting to the Department of Justice. And on top of that, he threatened a state assembly member who had spoken out against them because his uncle died in a nursing home. So that in itself is reason for the governor to resign. And then if you add what has occurred here with the sexual harassment uh, accusations, it's even all the more reason why the governor needs to go. Clearly, the governor has said he doesn't want to resign. So I think that New Yorkers need to ensure that we take him out at the ballot box next year or push him so he doesn't run for re-election. Or the third option here would be, of course, there is a criminal uh, investigation. Uh, the FBI and the Department of Justice has been conducting one. And perhaps this leads to a criminal uh, criminal type of prosecution. So I think uh, either way you look at it, the governor's time in office is, num is numbered. And I've urged New Yorkers to continue to join me and express themselves that they want the governor to resign by signing on their name at enoughcuomo.com. You know, senior citizen families, uh, seniors who died from coronavirus in nursing homes saying, focus on that scandal. The sexual harassment claims are horrendous, but what's happening is in 27 states, Nursing homes were given, the executives were given blanket immunity from lawsuits. New York Governor Cuomo led the way giving that blanket immunity from lawsuits for nursing home executives. And we're talking Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey gave it. And, you know, we, you were tracking the donations going into Cuomo from the nursing home sector. And this is, this is basically covering up reckless endangerment, you know, what's happening in nursing homes. The other thing, too, is, uh, Congresswoman, Cuomo was excusing his sexual harassment saying uh, allegations, saying it's a cultural thing. I kiss hundreds of people. My father, Mario Cuomo, was the same way. Well, he's kissing women who are the same age as his daughter, trying to, rather. And this is the same Mario Cuomo who called Monica Lewinsky, quote, an inveterate liar when Monica Lewinsky got caught up with the Bill Clinton sexual harassment scandal. Your thoughts on that? Well, I, I think it's unbelievable that the governor is trying to defend himself here when he clearly made wrong moves. Uh, you know, I don't care what he says. I mean, to say to a young woman who is 40 years younger than you and ask her if she has had sex with older men in the corporate sector, he would be fired as a CEO. But because he is in government, uh, he somehow is going to get a pass. I don't accept that, but I think you're absolutely right. The real scandal here is what happened in those nursing homes. And it's shameful that some legislators have only come out now after the sexual harassment allegations. I think the families of New York do deserve better. They do need legislators to be their champions and demand answers. I know that the state legislators are looking at their options. They are looking at impeachment as a possible thing. But even the Democrats are dragging their feet and pu pulling away his executive orders uh, ability. That, to me, you know, they said they were going to strip them, and now they're backtracking from that. And I don't know, you know, whether the governor threatened them again or tried to retaliate, but it's shameful that they refuse to take back their power as a co-equal branch of government and govern what, the, what their constituents elected them to do. Congressman, Congresswoman, you're terrific. Will you come back on the show? We'd love to have you back on so we could talk some more.